With the release of iOS 9, Apple will enable users to block ads, cookies, pop-ups, and other content. I'm joined by Angelo Zeno, Senior Industry Analyst at S&P Capital IQ. Angelo, we know Apple just unveiled its, its news app and iAds tool, so one would have to assume that its iAds would not be filtered out in iOS 9. Is this all about keeping users' eyeballs for Apple itself? What could be Apple's motivation for doing this? Yeah, I think really this is, you know, this continues to be business as usual for Apple. Apple's goal here is, uh, you know, we think at least kind of trying to be your best friend and, and, and trying to give the best, I think, user experience they can to their consumers. So, you know, I, I'd say overall the, the bigger trend here is privacy, security, um, and to that extent, um, Apple wants to ensure that, you know, that their consumers know that that is kind of the, one of their most important topics and you know everywhere from you know their iPhones the, their operating system there all the way down to the to the watch um, and their other devices I mean this is going to be a key theme for them so overall you know we don't see it as you know anything um, that's really kind of different to what uh, Apple has done in the past. Oh, so you believe Tim Cook when he says this is all about users and, and watching out for their privacy. I do, and you know, and I'd say right after the the worldwide con uh, developer conference this week, I think you almost have to believe him. I mean, this is you know, I think especially with, and I think that the Apple Watch really is kind of a, a good example here. I mean, you look at the watch, you're going to have a sensor right on, um, you know, right on top of you, and you know, really, uh, Apple is going to be privy to a lot of information. Um, you know, especially within the healthcare arena. So overall, you know, I think you know, I think Apple has to make sure that privacy and security, once again, is kind of a huge and central theme for them, and that their consumers realize that. Because I think today, more so than ever, um, you know, that is a, a main issue for uh, for consumers, and I think it'll only become more important in the years to come. So iPhone and iPad users may like this news, but what's the potential widespread impact of this when you consider so many publishers and other businesses that rely on online advertising? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think overall <laughs> publishers and advertisers aren't going to like it. It's going to it's going to be a negative on their end. I, I think, though, you know, until we actually get um, you know more information on the actual type of impact this is going to have, um, you know, on the operating system, we're not going to know too much on the, in the on the end impact it's going to have. However, you know, it's definitely bad news for them, great news for Apple. So what are the long-term implications for Apple in doing this? Is this just a matter of keeping its users happy? I, th I think that's, you know, it really it's, it's kind of preserving the ecosystem and making sure that uh, consumers are happy. I mean, if we look at the trend from Apple here, uh, they, they continue to gain share and I think consumers like the idea of, of Apple uh, focusing on privacy. So I, I expect that trend to continue in the fact that they will continue to gain share. And especially as Apple becomes um, a bigger and bigger uh, participant within the China market where you know, privacy has been you know, a, a, an issue out there. Thank you so much, Angelo Zeno, Senior Industry Analyst at S&P Capital IQ. Thanks for having me. And I'm Brittany Humar for The Street.